Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Antonia uh, and today we're going to do an Accio unboxing. So let me just take out my address, but that's what we've got. We've got a customs charge, so that was all fun and games. But this is a box that I have paid over £100 for, so we're going to get into unboxing it and see if anything's worth it. Okay, so let's start the unboxing. So first of all, I have cut the sellotape on the sides just to make it easier to open, but I haven't actually seen anything inside, so this will be the first sneak peek. So it's all black. So this should be box number six, I think, for the half blood prints. I think that's what it's for. I'm positive, actually, I'm positive because it's definitely in the next one for Deathly Hallows. So yeah, I did actually end up spending over £100 for this box. Now, obviously, it isn't normally that much. It is, I think, I will put all the pricing information down below just so it's definitely exact. But I know it is an average. I think because I had the subscription for the monthly, it cost me about $64, I think it was, for the renewal. And then it would also fit quite a lot into it because of, of the size. So, yeah, it is. It's quite, quite good. I can't really complain. So, yeah. I mean, I don't actually use any of these just because I love drinking water. It's the only healthy thing about me that I love water. But I feel like I prefer it in a normal bottle. But... Because I feel a bit uncomfortable drinking water out of a straw. I can drink everything else out of a straw, but water, I just feel really uncomfortable for. So I'm not really sure why, but yeah, that's just one of them. Um, but yeah, it's nice though. It's something nice when I go to work because I work in the night. So it's always like the only other little cup. So yeah, we'll, do, we'll unbox something else and see how that goes. Okay, so for the second thing that we're going to unbox... I can see sort of something else looking at me, so I'll show you the box again, so you can... Now, these little... That's not a good show at all. They just fell over, but them, they were in there. I'll just get them off, make life easier. Oh, let's see what they are. So we've got all oh, the stickers. Hello, my name is Ronald Waslib. It's just a sticker, so that's nice. And then we've got our oh, Weasley is our king. Love that. I can definitely go on me. My laptop, that's lovely. I need it. I've got stickers for that and I just haven't stuck anything on. I'm just a little whore. I'll just keep it all day until it all piles up and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll do something about it now. Okay, so the next thing that I've just pulled out of the box is a beautiful enamel pin. So I will show you this. Now I am obsessed with pins. It is Slughorn's Hourglass by Oddman and Tweet. See if I can show you a little bit better of a close-up. So reflective, the cards. <laughs> yeah, but it's gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Now, I have a massive pin collection. I'm slightly obsessed and I need a little bit of help. But um, if you'd like to see that video, let me know in the comments down below and I can obviously get that video up for you so we can have a little look at my pins and geek out about Harry Potter together because I'm absolutely obsessed. I think they're amazing. And I always think, oh, they're a bit cheap so I can sort of get them like out of everything that you can buy from Harry Potter. Um, but then I ended up spending that much money that I was like, oh, no, maybe not, maybe not. Yeah, but that is gorgeous and I love that pin. Getting a pin. Okay, so the next thing is, let's just move a little bit of the twiggly things out of the way. Oh, there's something wrapped up. This is what I've just pulled out next. I'm not actually... I think it's the Felix Felicis, the liquid look. That's what it looks like, okay. Let me just get this on wrapped. Oh, it should have brought some scissors. I know we've done it. Oh, oh, it looks like it's something for like the bath, I think. I'll show you like what I'm seeing as I'm pulling it out. It's got like, oh, is this a bath bomb? If this is a bath bomb, I'm ready to get my hygiene levels to the correct level. Literally, like I am ready for a bath. Magical tip, oh my god, it's actually a bath bomb. So hold your bath bomb underneath the running water to create lots of foamy bubbles in your bathtub. That is amazing. Oh, wow. So it is by Love Good Bath Potions. Oh, and you can get 20% off your next order with the code Potterhead. So I will leave that in the description down below so you can use that if you want to get any discounts off this company. And it is beautiful. It's so big. Oh, it's scented in grapefruit. I don't think I can smell it through the thing. I was, I was trying to be magical and see if I could just get rid of that. It makes, it's got Epsom salts, bubbles, coconut oil. Oh, 
makes the skin feel amazing even hours after use comes with lots of gold swirling biodegradable glitter made with handmade molds and is painted by hand so if you want to find any more they do have an etsy shop so i will also link that down below like with the discount code so you can use that so oh it's absolutely beautiful so that's a little description there and then obviously that is the bath bomb oh isn't that amazing the fact it's got coconut oil in as well our oh, skin is going to be so like unbelievably smooth and amazing oh wow that's amazing that is gorgeous i love love getting bath bombs i'm obsessed with bath i don't really like baths i'm much more of a shower girl but i do love love getting like any type of bath bombs let me just get rid of that like let's move on to the next a print is it a cause i'm gonna show you the face and then obviously you can read what it says so let us step into the night and pursue that is that blightly temptress adventure is that what it says it's from albus dumbledore so it's a quote from him and it's absolutely beautiful let me take it out to the wrapping so we can see it a little bit better it does look like there's more oh these are too beautiful because this is currently within my living room, so we don't actually plan on recording videos yet. It's just that I was just setting up, my mum's gone out, so thought it'd be a lot easier because my room is literally the size of Harry's cupboards under the skip under the stairs. Under the stairs then. Run away, it's just the one card. Oh, it is beautiful though, that'll be beautiful to go upstairs because I'm gonna do that mate, that's much better to see now. So I'll show you that up close and it's got his full name at the bottom with all of his 125 middle names. Um, so yeah, that's all it. That is absolutely beautiful. That is gorgeous. That is beautiful. I'll pop that on the side. So many twiggly things, like literally. Drop them all over the floor, that'd be great. Okay, we've got the spoiler cards, we don't want that, so I won't even... Well, we've seen the front, so we can flash the front, but I won't look at the back. Because we've still got a little bit more in here. But I think the last thing is the book sleeve. So I think that is the last thing that we do have. So let me just get this open and see what this one says. So these are for the American hardback covers and you just wrap them around. Now personally I haven't got them. I am on the hunt to get them but it's so difficult to get them for a reasonable price. Um, you can either get them individually, some people sell them for like four pence on Amazon, but then other ones are selling for like £35 and I'm just like... <sighs> My bank doesn't like me that much, so I'll slowly start revealing it to you. <gasps> Already it says the book on property of the Half Blood Prince. Sorry, I like bit my lip then, so very. Oh wow, oh wow, I'm so excited already. I was gonna say the Half Blood, it must just be right. I'm gonna slowly. Oh, I can see the gold foiling already. I am in love with gold foiling. Exactly like Cherry Wallace when it comes to that. Oh wow potion making that is beautiful oh wow i need to go and get these books oh look at that look at that if like highlights are couldn't blind people this gold foil definitely is makeup tutorials just need this to pop on the face oh wow i'm gonna love how it has things written that feels so nice like the end pieces that fold in i love that it has things written like it actually has like small text let me just show you, I'll show you this side first because this is the side that I roll back up first. It has like the little writing. I will try and do close ups for you as well and pop it in just so it's much easier to see than me trying to shove up close and personal. No one needs that in the life, but we also have this side. So you can't really read it. Like, I mean, I know you definitely can't read it on that, but I don't even think I can read it even if I'm just looking. It does have sort of certain things. So it was like potion making rests upon four pillars philosophy astronomy alchemy and ethics oh so you can read it it's very difficult i mean i don't have to go and get my glasses but that is absolutely beautiful so to see the full thing i'll just step back i will definitely do a close-up so you can see it all and it's my favorite one that is on so far because i missed book one two and three I wasn't subscribed and I'm gonna keep sort of putting it off just because it is so expensive. Um and but they are beautiful boxes. I mean 
it is amazing i think there was quite there wasn't that many products sorry i was just going to get the, the sheet then there isn't that many products i don't think really for the price as well i mean it was a fault of my own really and i mean that i didn't realize that i'd obviously bought two i mean for a normal price it would have been around 50 pounds between 40 and 60 pence if you get any discount i mean cherry wallace she normally has discount and book roast they have discounts so if you watch their videos i mean they do unboxings and they're amazing so i'll link their channels down below i know that victoria mclean unreal youtuber she's the one with the guinness world record uh, for the most wisdom on world items she unboxed one and she obviously had the same problem um because obviously like we pay for them i mean cherry gets them sent to her for their honest opinion which is unbelievable and i think that sort of obviously everyone's always better when it's sort of like that but when you're paying properly i mean it is my mistake for that error but then i'm paying a 15 just over 15 pound customs charge to get them i mean i say this and i've just ordered the next box so i can't really be i can't be that unhappy can i i must obviously like it um but yeah I think it's just because I am obsessed with Harry Potter, but I think if it, if I wasn't and I didn't want these book covers, because obviously I am gonna, then going to have to pay even more money to try and buy the first couple of book covers so I can get that all sorted. But I don't know, there wasn't that amazing item. But I think my favourite items were... I love the pin. I mean, I love the pin. I don't think I have a slug on because I really want to go to the Warner... I mean, I'm going to the Brother, Warner Brothers studio. I don't know if I can say that properly. Um, in November, I go on the 1st of November. So if anyone's there, please let me know. Um, but I do plan on going. I want to get the one that's like the 3D one to pop my pin board. And obviously, I'll do a vlogging video if you just want to see that. Just let me know, obviously, any, any videos you do or don't want to see. Um, but yeah, I, I do plan on, on going there. But looking at the, the, the sheet of all the things that it's got. So, so the cheat sheet, we have book six. So this is a six in our an exciting series of box themes around the books themselves. Each box features items inspired by the seven individual stories that make one of the greatest literary literary epics of all time i cannot speak in english you wouldn't think i've just got a lot degree absolutely not um but including one series of items to collect all over the seven boxes which obviously is the book covers we hope you love the, these as much as we're enjoying putting them together so the first thing it has is the argumenta water bottle which i do think is beautiful to be honest i actually think i might take that to work tonight because and i don't use them so to get one it is pretty amazing um and that is values of twenty dollars, and obviously it's got a description. So I will leave a close up to this as well if you do if you do want to obviously read it all individually. Um, and then we've got the liquid look bath bomb, which is values eleven dollars, which quite a lot for the bath bomb. I don't need a really good excuse to need that type of bath bomb. <laughs> but to be honest, it is absolutely beautiful. So I do think it is it is it will be worth it. But I feel like I'd need a really amazing pump, and I to want to treat myself to an eleven dollar bath bomb. But it, it it does look amazing. We've got Slughorn's Hourglass, which is a glowing enamel pin. Does it go in the dark? This app, stop it. Oh, wow. It glows, exclusive glow effect just for Akio. Okay, I'm gonna have to try and do a video where it's glowing. Let me see if I can see it glowing. I think it does a little bit. I mean, it's a little bit difficult. I mean, I, I'm stood literally in front of three windows. So I do think it would be a little bit difficult to sort of... I'm, I'm winking the wrong eye and everything. But yeah, I'll try and do a video of that up close where you can see it sort of glowing in the dark, which is an Accio Box exclusive variant, which that's quite good, especially because I love pins. I mean, that's amazing. That is valued at $12. And then we have the Flighty Temptress, which is the five times seven mini print. Is that Flightly? As if I said blightly, am I okay? Blightly's not even a word. Okay. Okay, Antonia, just okay. Okay. <laughs> so it's uh, the favourite Albus Dumbledore quotes. A watercolour background with beautiful designs and house. Printed acid face. That was an Accio box exclusive as well. Oh, and so was the water bottle. So, so far, the Liquid Look bath bomb is an Accio box exclusive. So, you can actually go and buy that. So, obviously, if it's amazing, I will show what it does sort of to the bath. I'll do, like, a little video of that and add it on um, if I can or not. I'll put it on my Instagram, which is... I have two Instagrams. Just a little bit of one extra to do. So, I have my main Instagram account, which is Antonia underscore Davi. Um, so, I'll link that down below, which is, like, my main Instagram sort of what I'll just put my, my personal pictures on. And I've just created a new Instagram account so I can go all Harry Potter crazy, which is Antonia underscore Knox. Yeah, because I was going to do Lumos and I thought, no, I'm more black like my soul. So, and I love the dark and I love stars and things like that. So, this is actually fitting perfect for me. Um, but, yeah, so that's beautiful. And then we have the Ron Appreciation 
vinyl sticker set, which is the two that we had here. Let me just grab them for you, which is them two, which are gorgeous. They are valued six dollars. Uh, they are Acura box exclusive. Yeah, and then we have yeah. I was just checking the yeah, two. It says you can even. I was just said you can put them on the water bottle, which I don't think I'd personally do myself. But it is something that you can do. You can put them on your water bottle, your laptop, or your notebook. Um, but I am personally probably gonna put them on my MacBook just because I haven't got anything on there. It's a bit basic, and we need to add some personality to it, especially Harry Potter personality. Why would we not want to do that? And then we have the potion making exclusive book cover, which is personally my favorite, which is valued at ten dollars. So obviously it is, and that's the whole box. So here you go six six items to be honest six items it's around 10 pounds an item sort of if you're averaging out about well, 60 pound 50 pound for the box which is good value i mean they are overvalued and i will sort of put up whatever the amount of the total is because i'm not very quick at maths to be able to add them up that fast no i'm definitely not i did just attempt no i'm not going to test my brain that much today um you wouldn't think away from the bank either i'm just not doing very well yeah <laughs> but yeah it is all all there for you now it is it, it yeah, I'm happy with the box. I am happy. I'm happy I own the items. I mean, it's not an I'd go crazy about. Um, there's not an I really. It's just so there's not an I don't like. It's just not an that I don't go. Oh, that's amazing. Like I would have wanted to spend that much money on it, but I don't know whether that's just I'm putting a damper on just because obviously I bought the box twice. So, um, I don't know whether I'm sort of just putting myself off. To be honest, um. But yeah, it is it is good. Um, for the value of over around sixty pounds, if I'd obviously take out the box that I ordered again, um, and do sort of because for the box then shipping and then the customs charge. Yeah, I am happy with it. I probably wouldn't have ordered like the water bottle myself, so it's nice to have an item I probably wouldn't have bought. I do love the print, especially for my room, because sorry, what I was saying before, I am gonna do like a photo collage, collage, collage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do that on my wall and have like the so it's like when you go up the stairs. I kind of want to do that. So I've got some rustic paintings uh, frames and pitch frames more than painting frames, but it's okay. We'll pretend I didn't say that. And um, I just wanted to add that because I've got a gorgeous album, Albus Dumbledore. I just can't speak. I do apologize. Coming from Literary Crate and Day Box, I have so many things coming. So that'll be a video that's coming up soon. I have spent over $300. <sighs> yeah this is why i have to go to work every day so i'm <laughs> literally not another day off for a week and i haven't got another one for another week but hey ho <sighs> what's <laughs> fun me harry potter craziness obsession but yeah so that is the box all unboxed for you so i do hope that you enjoyed the video i hope that you subscribe and you can hit the notification bell if you obviously want to see me next couple coming videos i mean i will have that literally create one coming up and i do I have a couple of other unboxings hopefully coming up soon and obviously my pink collection and I have a couple of other ideas. If you've got any ideas for me, just leave them in the comments down below. It was lovely to meet you and I hope that you come back soon. So yeah, bye! <laughs>